Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS mini laptop. This one is a model E203M model. That's E203M model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery. If yours is not holding enough charge or you think it's time to replace it, you can follow this video. It's really easy to do it. You can do it right under 5 minutes. I'll try to get the link for this battery and I'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. The tools that I'll be using, it's a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel bit. That means they will last you many years. We're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you purchase the pro version of this tool set, they will give you an opening tools and tweezers. This stuff, but if not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And we will need a tweezer, a curved or a straight tweezer. All right, with these two on hand, once we power off the laptop, on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see two, a whole bunch of screws. There are two types of screws in here, the short ones and the uh, long ones. The long ones are only two screws, one in uh, beside each of the legs in here, inward. So we're going to go ahead and remove the long screws and put them in one pile so you don't mismatch them. All right, once we remove these screws, these two screws, now the rest of the screws are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. Keep them in a different pile. Go ahead and start from one corner and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out through your own service or replacing parts, you can click that like and subscribe uh, to support the channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we removed all the screws, now all you need to do is to grab your opening tool. In this case, the guitar pick. We're going to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there, and we just want to twist it. And we want to work ourselves without removing it, just slide it, go all around towards the front end. And continue from the here and bring it, slide it, and twist, twist, go all around to the front, the other end. Work yourself to the other side. And the bottom cover should come out pretty easy. So there's the bottom cover, slide it to one side. And down here you can see the big huge battery in here. These are two cell batteries. And the way that we know it's two cell, there's a two positive and two negative cables right here. All right, first we're going to remove this bridge cable that connects the USB left side and audio jack to the main board. To do that, you want to put your finger right at the bottom of this cover right here. And you want to lift it up 90 degree. You want to do the same thing on this side. It's a black cover. Just lift it up. And you want to slide out the flex cable like that. Bring it in 45. There's a little adhesive and pull it out. There's an adhesive tape right there. So remove it, put it to one side. The side that it says MB, that's for the motherboard. So this side goes towards the motherboard. And this side it says IO, which is for you IO side. All right, with these two removed, now we're going to grab a non metallic wood or plastic. And we're going to disconnect the jack. To disconnect it, all you need to do is to put this cover underneath the jack. And just want to push it down and just pops open the jack really upward. So you just push down. Okay. Now you want to grab your tweezers. And you want to untangle the speaker cables right on the bottom side. Just untangle them. And bring it to one side. Next, we're going to remove the screws for the battery. Most of the screws have been held down from the bottom cover, which is one in the middle here too, and one at the back. So these ones go from the bottom cover. The only two screws that you have to remove is the one in here and the one on the other side. So go ahead and remove these two screws. They are the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, once we remove those screws, now you can just simply lift up the battery and pull it out. So there's your battery. The model for this one is a C21 and 1629. It's 7.6 volt, 38 watt hour battery. Capacity is 5000 milliamp or 4840 milliamp minimum. 
So I'll try to get a link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description. Let's say that you got the new one in. You want to sit down this end. There's a little tiny pin right here. It goes to secondary hole right in here. You want to sit that one in there so it make sure it's in place. Align the screw holes for the rest and just bring it down. And there's a lot, little tiny pin right in here. This pin and the pin right there. Once you put this one in, the battery is not going to move. Put the two screws that you remove for the battery in the top corners. Next, we're going to tangle back down the cable for the speakers. Just run the cable right underneath. Make sure it's nicely inside the groove. Now for the jack, you want to align it over the contacts and you just want to push it down. It should do a clicks right there. And that's how you know it's in place. You want to grab the bridge cable, make sure the lock is in an open position, hold it open and it slide down underneath the flex cable right there and then lock it down. Same thing here, open it up, slide it right underneath and lock it down. And the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover, put it on top, you squeeze the corners down, the front end, the side, make sure they're clicking, and then put the two longest screws between the beside the back corners, right there, and one right here. And the rest, the last thing would be to put the rest of the screws down. Remember when you power on the laptop. It might take to five to ten seconds to power on because of the uh, you removing the battery. It resets the CMOS chip. And if you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe to support the channel. Just gonna finish up putting up the screws.